Hey guys, and welcome to the Assistive OT webpage. If you've been following along, you already know that my name is Natalie, and this is a part of my OTD Capstan project, focusing on adaptive equipment within pediatrics. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, check out my introduction video above and see a little bit about what this project pertains to and why I decided to do it. So today I'd like to talk to you about upper body dressing. For those of you who know, upper body dressing is basically what it sounds like. Anything from the waist up, um, including bras, overhead shirts, button ups, and jackets. Basically anything you can put on this part of your body. Although this may not seem like a very difficult task, for a lot of kiddos, it is. Um, whether it be they struggle with fine motor um, difficulties, buttoning buttons, or zippers and coordination coming to midline, there's a bunch of different reasons that it may be hard for them. So I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about different pieces of equipment that may make it easier for your kiddo or um, client that can aid them in wearing whatever they want. As we know, as uh, our kiddos get older, wearing pull like overhead shirts really isn't as cool or they opt out of not wearing what they want to wear because they struggle with being able to button buttons or zipper zippers or do a bunch of other things. Um, so making sure that we have the right tools in our toolbox is definitely a big part. So, I'm going to highlight a couple things, but I'd like to start off today with talking to you about a button hook. If you're an OT or an OT student, we know these. We are haunted by these. These are in every OT bag that we could think of. Um, but for those of you who have never seen one of those or used them, they all resemble this. So button hooks are generally double sided. This side is for buttons and I'll show you how to use it in just a quick moment. This side is a zipper pull, which um, is actually a really great feature I think people forget about. So let me show you how we're gonna use this very quickly. My lovely men's shirt I grabbed from a closet in my house. I think it's a little bit easier to show. Um, this can work with um, pretty much any size clothing, children's, young adult, adult, depending on whatever side your kid, size your kiddo is. So. We should forget men's buttons are on the other side. So this is pretty simple to use. You're gonna go through the little slit where your button would go, push it all the way through. You're going to find the button that you're using. I think I'm at this one. You're going to go fishing, hook line and sinker this all the way to the end. All you're gonna do is pull it. A lot of times I find it easier to hold this part to do it and you just release. That's pretty much it. It's really that simple to use. Um, so you can use it in a bunch of different ways, any kind of clothing, but definitely a trial and error thing. So when it comes to being able to use um, a button hook, this may not be the most appropriate thing depending on child's age, um, whether they like to use button hooks as something they shouldn't be using it as. Um, it's really up to your discretion, but definitely a good tool to have, um, especially for older kiddos who struggle with that fine motor portion. There are so many different um, kinds of buttons in the world, adaptive buttons. I tried a bunch of them. I didn't like a bunch of them. I am not sewing savvy. So when it comes to sewing in the buttons and replacing them, I found that to be very time consuming um, and a little bit of a hassle. So if you're a mom of however many, you know you don't have that much time in your day. So adapting clothing for kids who are gonna grow out of it in two weeks, I found to be a little silly um, when it came to different things that you could do. So if you are crafty, um, sewing savvy, go for it, but I am not. So I am an orderer. So I ordered one of my favorite products I found, which is called the Magnetic Button. Um, they come in a three pack and they are exactly what they sound like, magnetic buttons. But the kicker is it is not damage your shirt. It does not replace the button that's already there and it's transferable. So it can be used on one shirt one day and another shirt the next, which I love. 
So let me show you how these work. I actually have one on it now just to show you. They come in both clear and black. I believe they may come in a different color. I'm not positive. Um, and like I said, come in a three pack. So probably two packs would do one shirt and they fit over any size button for the most part. So I'm gonna pick this button to show you and it really is that simple. So it comes in two parts. This is the magnetic part and this is the clip that goes over it. The little back undoes, so all you have to do is unhook the bottom. Ooh, because I go to lose it. So moms or OTs of older children, definitely use your discretion on how you're going to let them do it or if you're gonna do it. So it just slips right over the button and all you do is snap it on. The magnetic button part, which I showed you, which looks just like a regular button, goes underneath and in the little slit where a normal button would go. So that's that. And all you have to do is snap them together. Snap them together and that's it. It looks just like a normal shirt. You would never know that this is any type of different shirt um, unless you were the one wearing it, which I love. Discretion and ease and being able to transfer to any shirt is definitely 10 for 10 in my book, but just open it. You don't lose it. It's really that simple. Um, you can use these for the cuff part of the shirt as well, um, depending on what kind of shirt your uh, kiddo is going to be using. So I love this. Um, I found that a lot of products that I found to love the most definitely were made by people who either needed this product themselves um, and invented it so that others never had to go through it or it was a caregiver or a teacher um, but this product was made and used by the person who made it so I love it. Um, I think I might leave these on and see if my uh, other half notices when he goes to put a shirt on for work tomorrow. So another nifty part that we can use is that zipper pull. So I will show you on a jacket that I just grabbed, which may be a little bit more difficult to see, but I will start it myself. Um, you can use this. You might wanna start it for your kiddos as you learn the skill. Um, but you are just going to hook because every zipper has that little hook in it and be able to pull up. It's the same way with down. So you can hook it down as well and then just hold it and zip and that's it. So there's no fine motor portion or strength. If there's a strength difficulty, this is definitely something you can use. Um, they also make, I actually have a whole bunch of these. Um, they're little zipper pulls. Um, so if your child is having problems with being able to hold the actual zipper, it's not long enough for them, you can put these through that little hole and just push it through. And then this way they have a little bit more length. Um, this is also great for different visual perceptual um, issues, colors. Um, again, this is applicable to other populations aside from pediatrics, but... For them to be able to see it, they can see the color if you're going to use different colors as well. So that's always a good one. Um, I don't think I've ever showed Easy Hold yet. So Easy Holds are essentially a universal cuff. They're silicone and they come in a bunch of different sizes um, and colors. I have all of them. Um, so it depends on what you're going to be using it for. But if you're using it in terms of a button hook, so if your child has problems holding um, a button hook, you can put the easy hold just over the button hook. And then the same way, just slip it over it. This way. If they're going to be using it, they just, depending on their hand strength and such, they could be using it, um, the pull part 
to pull that zipper. And I'll show you one more time. So they could even, as I now have the zipper pull on that I forgot, pull it and pull it up and pull it down. So easy hold is always a great thing that I personally have liked. I've tried um, a couple different universal cuffs, but in the world that we're living in right now, being able to clean between each child and each use easy holds and the fact that they offer so many different sizes, um, options, and pretty much endless opportunities. I highly recommend ordering a pack of easy holds. Um, you'll definitely see me use them in other videos when it comes to feeding, um, hygiene and such as well. And I'll definitely show you how we're going to be using these um, for kiddos who don't have being able to flex and extend their digits um, as well as hold different things themselves. So that's a little bit of what I have today for you in terms of adaptive equipment um, for upper body dressing. I'm sure there's a thousand other tools out there, um, including adaptive lines. I linked below the button hook, the zipper pulls, magnetic buttons, and easy holds that I used in my video. But I also want you guys to check out the adaptive lines of clothing that are already out there. So one of my personal favorites is the Cat and Jack line by Target. Um, it offers sensory um, adaptability as other than different closures as well. And they're amazingly affordable. So as either a mom or another rehab professional or pretty much anyone, we know kids grow quicker than anything. We close their eyes and they're in the next size. So being able to have clothing options that are affordable, that can help grow with our child is definitely something I love. And they're always looking for recommendations. Um, so if your child has different needs, send them an email, send their product line an email, and they always try to take into consideration um, different things. Other adaptive lines that I love that I've talked to, um, Ability, Ability's Adaptive Wear, um, they have different shirts and such for ports. Um, they have catheter bags. Uh, they have um, a band, and I'll show this in my lower body dressing as well, for insulin pumps. Um, they, they are just amazing. That team over there, I've talked to them a bunch of times. But Tommy Hilfiger also has a line for some of our older kids who like to look um, a little more fashion forward uh, to stay up to date with their peers. So that's great. Um, and then I just found out, depending on your area, if you have a Kohl's, Kohl's now has an adaptive pediatric line. So I got to check that one out. But I will definitely link some of my favorite pieces for you guys on my website this week. But Thank you so much for joining. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me or message me on my website or Instagram page. But thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you in our next video.